Well, another thing, uh, let me adjust things here. Another thing that you can do with Word is to, well, put charts and and tables within Word itself. And it actually has a built-in uh, function that you can do that. So here I have, as you can see, my Gilligan document. I'm going to move things down by putting my cursor up here and hitting, hit the enter bar. And now I'm going to go up to table. And you can do it two ways. You can either draw a table or insert a table. Okay, uh, Insert a table is probably more straightforward. So I'll go down there and I'll just say I'd like uh, two columns with two rows. Okay, uh, And you can specify whatever behavior that you'd like, a fixed column or auto fit or what have you. And just play it. Like it, everything we're doing here, uh, the more you play around, the more familiar you become with it. Okay, and so ooh, there we go, we have a table. Well, uh, what you can also do is when I select all this, I can actually go up to view. I'm going to turn on the table uh, toolbar. Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tables and borders, there we go. I'm going to open that up and plop it there. And okay, how did I do that? Well, put your mouse over these four buttons on the left hand side hold down the left mouse button you can drag it around okay see how I can drag it around changes into that uh, compass type of uh, arrow the four arrow cursor and then I just kinda you can actually drop it on the side there you go how about that now uh, you can do a number of things here <clears throat> if you want to select a cell <clears throat> excuse me uh, hover your mouse over the top border of uh, the cell, hold down your mouse button, it's going to select the column. You hold it down and you scroll over to the other uh, non selected cells, it selects those cells also. And then here, this is a border color. I could indicate I'd like a border, I'd like, uh, oh, let's see, I'd like some shading in it, like so. It's still highlighted, so I'll just click it out. And uh, for the most part, you could drop, you could write text in there, you could do whatever you want in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up Gilligan by selecting him and holding down my left mouse button, dragging him in there, dropping. There's Gilligan. I'm going to go down now. I'm going to grab the skipper. I'm going to kind of resize him, make him a little bit smaller. So I've grabbed him and now I'm moving up. Okay. Now how am I moving? Well. Uh, just whenever you're moving anything, you, you uh, click on the item, like the picture, hold down the left mouse button, and drag your mouse in this way. I'm doing a, I'm holding it vertically, but I'm not. If you go over the page, you see how it turns into a uh, circle with a cross through it or a line through it. Uh, you just want to make sure that you go right on the upper border and it'll move for you, okay? So I'm going to actually drop it in this cell. And there's Skipper. Now, see as I selected the picture, the picture toolbar came up. And, uh, well, I know that I also have... Uh, I'm going to make them kind of the same as Gilligan here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get the other pictures here. I think I have one of Ginger. The other way is, here's another way. You can select it, right click, cut it, rather than drag it around. Move your cursor where you'd like it to be placed. Here I'm doing in, I'm placing in the cell below Gilligan. Right click, select paste, and there's Ginger. I'm going to go down and I'm going to fetch Marianne. Where is she? There she is. And I'll cut her. And I'm going to go up, cursor in the cell that I want her to go into, and right click, hit paste, and voila, she is. There she is. Now I'm going to readjust her here. So anyways, you can have a, just play around with, with tables. Uh, you could do a number of things with them. And uh, it, as indicated by this toolbar, you can change a tech text direction if you actually had text in there like Gilligan and Marianne or what have you you can indicate it that you'd like to sort them ascending or descending you can change a text direction okay you have an auto format you know this is when you click on that this is uh, 
all the little things that I'll change it to. Okay, like if you want different type of tables, table looks. All right. Well, anywho, but it's pretty much straightforward. And uh, so, anyways, let's uh, goof around with some tables. Now, you can make tables in Excel, and uh, once we get into Excel, I can show you how you import them into. Actually, it's very similar. Just select, cut, and paste, uh, or select, drag, and drop. It's very much uh, well. It's very similar to just working in Word. Uh, so, anyways, uh, that's that for tables. And uh, if you have any questions, again, I am more than happy to answer any questions. Thanks.